Hi, family. Um, well, you know, I wanted to come back and talk to you again about witchcraft. And um, y'all know who do magic because, you know, so I, 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 I go back and forth with you all with witchcraft and hoodoo. And a lot of people just say, Mommy, you know, which one comes first? Uh, um, it, it's, it's a hard decision to make. I never, I, I, I feel like they are both all in the, the one of the same. One of the same, one in the same, something like that. I think they're the same. I mean, I don't see any difference um, in them. Honestly, I don't. Yeah, I just, witchcraft is a label, and voodoo is a label. It's just what somebody decided to call it, you know? But now I will say, voodoo is not witchcraft, and voodoo is not, uh, 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 I'm sorry, I will say voodoo. Let me correct myself. I will say, Voodoo is definitely not witchcraft. And voodoo is definitely not voodoo. Okay? They have nothing to do with each other. As I reiterated, Hollywood make big money out of uh, portraying voodoo to be some type of evil sorcery type magical uh, creation um, something to scare people and bring them to the theaters and stuff and and so so it can uh, drive uh, you know revenue for the box office that's it honestly voodoo means god and it is a legitimate religion. Yes, it is. Many things that we practice in witchcraft and voodoo is forbidden in voodoo. People who are practicing the religion voodoo would actually... They would actually be appalled or even criticized. This right here, witchcraft. Just like a, a Christian would, honestly. Because you can't do these things in voodoo. You can't do cards in voodoo. But a club again. Okay, so um, so I just want to talk about witchcraft for a little while, witchcraft and voodoo and everything, and how the spirits operate, you know, because a lot of people are coming to me and they want to know, Mama, where did you, where do you get the power? You know, how do you speak to the dead? How do you speak to spirits, Mama? How do you read people, Mama? They want to know. And I'm just going to talk about a few of my secrets. Not not many. It's, it's not even a secret. It's just something, you know, that, you know, I've practiced for a long time because it works for me. Okay? So you want to know how to speak to the dead. You want to know. Now, I'm rambling now, so I'm fixing to just come out and say something very random right now. You all know I'm Spirit Tree Night Emma. Okay? N Y E M M A. That's me. And I have a virtual COVID on Facebook. Okay? I know y'all get irritated when I say that, but for the newbies, they need to hear that. You know, I like to say it from my mouth. I know I can, you know, write it out or whatever, but I love to just say it. You know, it's nothing like just alert people because some people they just don't read you know and um i need you all to subscribe to my channel but i want to talk to y'all about the spirits i want to talk to y'all about the spirits they show their presence to me 24 7 especially at night you have to have a very keen eye 
and you looking for your spirits because I know you're looking for your spirits because they actually are the ones that do the work. A lot of folks said, Mama, you said this was going to happen. It came true. It happened just like you said. And I'm like, what? I don't remember saying that. And the reason why I don't remember saying it is because it's not actually me saying it. It's more than likely a spirit saying it. Or it could just be a demon, you know. Yes, I have to be possessed by a demon in order to look over in your house when I'm on the phone with you to see you. I need to help up a demon to tell me the outcome. When you ask me, Mama, what's going to get ready to happen? I need that demon to go out and get me the information. Honestly, I want to tell, to tell you the raw, uncut truth about witchcraft. Now, I can't speak for every witch, but I'm only speaking for this witch right here. Many times I'm on the demon, demonic position when I make my dolls I'm on a demonic position when I do my readings I'm on, a, on the demonic position once again without it I couldn't tell you now you come back to me you said mom it happened I don't remember telling you okay? some of you have come to me and said mom I talked to a real old lady she was talking about how bad her periods used to be I'm like wow for real a real old lady was talking about how she died. You know, I'm like, look, these are the spirits that assist me in the work. Sometimes they want to just take over and do the, do the talk. What difference does it make who talk to you as long as you get the information you need? Now, I live in a very supernatural world. I say I live about, honestly, 50% of my life in the physical world and the other 50 in the in the spiritual world. I walk between the lines of both worlds. And as I grow older, you understand, I work, walk further over to the left path in the spiritual world. Because eventually, I'll be joining. I know a lot of people say, why waste so much time in the spiritual world when eventually you're going to spend an eternity there anyway? It's not like I have a choice. This is exactly who I am. I did not choose to come here, and I can't change myself. A lot of folks, I wouldn't want to live like that. It, you know, me trying to change myself is like trying to say, I'm not going to have nappy hair anymore. I'm going to let my hair grow straight. You know, I, I, I'm just going to let my hair grow straight. The only way my hair is going to grow straight is if I use a chemical and grow it straight. Well, you know, I, 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 I don't want my hair to grow black anymore. I'm going to let my hair grow blonde, you know, because I'm, I'm just sick and tired of it growing black. The only way I'm going to dye my hair, I mean, the only way I'm going to have blonde hair is to dye my hair blonde. You know, I don't want to be black anymore. I've decided that I'm just going to just take the melanin out of my skin and just, you know, go just go completely bleached out white. I mean, you got these choices, but. You see, you can't make the decision to honestly, you know, just become something different unless you're going to alter yourselves. Okay. So basically, what I'm getting at is this is the way I came here to be. Okay. Nothing about me is going to change unless I'm going to go to <coughs> have some kind of cosmetic surgery. You understand? That is unnatural. So just like I cannot change my hair to grow straight or to grow blind, I mean, or to be blind, and I can't have blue eyes unless I put on some blue contacts or I'll have like another skin tone other than the one I have. I'm going to always have this kind of a nose. I'm not, I'm not going to have a different nose. I'm going to have these kind of lips, chin. You, you see what I'm saying? It's the same it's just being a psychic medium of which and who I am. It's not going to change that. Okay. So that's just the type of person I am. I'm constantly on the possession. That's my life. That's my life. I see things that you all can't see. I see things that you'll never see. That's how some people wind up in the crazy house, so-called crazy house, the uh, mental institution or whatever. <clears throat> they couldn't get control over the gift. The gift of sight. 
most people that are in these places that they, they say uh, suffer from schizophrenia, uh, psychosis, uh, bipolar disorders, uh, what up? Give, give, give me the rest of them. Borderline, manic depressants, and whatever. That's those are the labels that give people like me. People who can see. We get these labels. Because, no, we're not seeing spirits as, as far as the psychiatrist is concerned. You understand? We're hallucinating. That's that's what the doctor says. You're hallucinating. They say you're hallucinating, but they cannot explain how you're able to tell somebody what's going to happen to them in the next four or five days. That can't be explained. That's the hallucination you had to have. In order to let these people know what's fixing to get with the door. Okay? So, I'm talking to some of the uh, witches out there that have the, have the gift I have, the gift of sight. Uh, no, you're not hallucinating. You're, you got one foot in the physical world and the other one in the spiritual world. And you have two sights. One here in the physical and the other on the other side. Y'all, I had to get a hope to my gift. I had to hold it down. It's been plenty of time. I thought I was going to leave my mind. You know, and this was a while back. I'm going to tell you when that was. My sight was so strong back in 2009 and 10. Go back and watch some videos. Well, I was seeing stuff that me and Auntie was talking about you ain't got to be seeing that. A little bit too strong me to turn it down. Oh, I had trinkets and all kind of little things that I made all over my body until the point I was just just sitting and standing up, like looking in front of y'all right now, just looking at you, and just dead folks just walking in my face. All, just looking at me, coming for me, wanting to talk to me. But, you know, when, when I see the dead, my, the dead people I see, they don't move. They just stand straight with this odd posture. It's weird. It's like. They don't move. It's just a, like an image of them just standing there. Now, I do see some dead people that are animated just like real humans. And I'm going to talk about that in the next video because I don't want this one to get too long. But I'm going to talk about that. And I always wonder the difference between the two because there are... I, 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 I kind of think that the ones that are animated and still moving around and still interacting and stuff like that here in the physical world. They're coming to have a conversation with you. And the only way we know they're dead, because my, old, my oldest daughter got the sight I have too, and she's fighting it. She says she don't want to fool with that right now. It's because, you know, um, they may have maggots on them or ants. See, the voice is inaudible. You can't really make out what they're saying. These are the ones that recently either recently they passed and have not and, and don't know they're dead hadn't made the transition something of that nature you understand or running uh some of them they just don't even know they did and i'm gonna talk to y'all about that in the next video but i do have the ones that are occasionally just just standing there just stiff and i take that back because I, I had one that was stiff he had just died one day and the next day he was in my bedroom, so I do take that back. He had just passed. So I, if you all know the difference between the ones that just stand there in a pose and the ones that interact with the grocery store shopping and buying things just like regular people, y'all let me know, okay? Some people who you interact with, they're not dead. They're sleeping. They're projecting themselves outside their beds. I do it all the time. And I, so most of the time, I'm on this plane right here, okay? So um, I'm going to cut this short and I'm going to end it here. And please subscribe. And I'm going to the next video because I want to keep them real sweet, short, and simple. Okay, be back in a sec. Well, it don't want to stop, y'all.